Uh, so I won't uh, waste your time. Uh, how many of you using uh, Redux? Yeah, of course, everyone. How many of you are using the reduce method of the array prototype? Of course, all of you. How many of you know how to implement your own uh, uh, reduce method? It's not too hard, all right? All right, so let's take five minutes and talk about uh, reduce. Uh, spend as much time as we can. Let's start with boring slides and move on to a uh, great uh, uh, live coding that's probably going to fail. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so the array, array prototype uh, reduce. Uh, this is the most important keywords that you need to know about reduce. All right, just a function that you that you apply for each element of the array, and you've got a result. Pretty simple and useful. So hopefully, uh, after this very short lighting talk, uh, you will find some useful uh, um, use to reduce, other than just you know relax. Let's get started. So that's the trick. I'm going to ask you a question. It will be like a, a job interview uh, simulation. And you will answer only uh, uh, one word, which is? Yes. Reduce. Not yes. Never say yes. Never say yes. If I ask you something, never answer yes. Not to me. All right. How do you, uh, how do you sum all of uh, those numbers? Well, I reduce, of course. <laughs> so let's, let's write a, our own reduce just to make sure that everyone understands how reduce really work. So if I want to write my own reduce function, I will accept an array, uh, probably callback, uh, maybe some initial value, all right? Uh, I can init my initial value with my init value. I can take this array for each. I hate VS Code. Oh, no, I say it loud, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and for each uh, item on this array, we can just say that our initial value equals to the result of the function, and we will pass the <coughs> result. Result. <laughs> we will pass uh, our uh, our value. We'll pass our value and the item. All right, and then return the value. Looks good, I think so. Let's give it a try. All right, so if I console log, uh, let's do reduce. If you see a problem, please let me know. Please be my compiler. Where? For? For each, yeah. That's how you say it in Hebrew. Oh. <laughs> for each. And for each of undefined. Because I'm right here. So this is my reduce. Let's take this array of uh, numbers. Let's give it a function. We've got our results. Let's call it uh, total. We've got um, value. We'll return total plus val and initial value. And we've got a problem. Who can spot the problem? Because I'm too tired for this. You'll get a price. You like prices? No one? Come on. Where? After about You're not returning anything from your function. Yep. Let's just copy paste because I don't have a lot of time. All right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's still not working. Yeah. Uh, array of nums, we've got total, we've got the value, uh, total plus value, where? You're not returning your result from your 4-H function. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's become very interesting now, don't you think? Oh, okay. Who can spot it? You'll win a prize. I'm serious. We've got a result, we've got our initial value. We've got the array for each. For each item on the array, we take the result. We call the function with the result and the item, and we return the result. So when I'm called reduce with array of numbers, total value, total plus value, initial value is zero. Why do I get a bug? Okay, I will embarrass myself. Uh, I thought for each doesn't return value. Excuse me? For each function doesn't return value. Where? Okay, it's an error function. Oh, 
Ah, end of time. All right. Another, another, <laughs> another five minutes. Uh, let's uh, take a look, of course, stuff that we can do with reduce, and then we return for this on my talk on the last, uh, uh, the end of this meetup. All right. But I have to tell you, I'm very disappointed of, of, of myself, of myself, and of course uh, of you all. <laughs> All right, so let's take like 30 seconds and look at some great stuff that you can do with reduce function. Not our own reduce, but and this one actually works, yeah? And I just wrote it five minutes ago, so maybe I'm too tired. So we talked about a sum. Well, summing an array of numbers is very easy. You just call reduce total number, total plus number, and you've got a sum. But a more interesting use if you want to uh, uh, get back uh, an average of the values then the callback can accept not just the total and the value, not just the accumulator and the, and the next item on the array, you can also get the index and the original array, which you call the reduced one. So in this implementation, <coughs> I'm summing all the numbers and I'm checking if my index is equal to the length of the array minus one. So now I can know that I, 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 I'm at the end of this array and I can just divide by the length of the array. Nice, I think so, don't you? Huh? No one? This is nice. <laughs> yeah. It's hipster's code, it's one-liner, it's error function, it's cool. Uh, <laughs> if, <laughs> if you want to flatten an array, I really like this one. All right, we just call the reduce. And we're, uh, here it is, that's it. Result concat the item. So if you've got an array which contains nested array, you can flood it with just one line of code, which is nice. Let's look at another example. If you want to transform, if you want to take uh, an array of objects, which um, let's take like, uh, let's talk about practical example. Um, you're pulling some data from the server, Redux, middleware, you want to normalize it. We don't like arrays we can use reduce and create a map. We normalize the, da the data, I know, yeah. 20 seconds and we're done. Uh, let's say we've got an array of uh, all the frameworks that we work with and we want to count it. Again, reduce one liner and I can transform this array to this object. And just for the final example, if I can run over, if I can reduce an array of values I can reduce an array of functions. So if you've got functions and you want to compose them together, like this one, it's very easy just to add to an array and take something out of the array. You can reduce it, call each function, and get a result. So this was uh, five minutes plus about readers. Uh, all of this will be on the slides, all those examples. So uh, uh, hopefully you find it useful and you will use it. Reduce it. Thank you.